Aortic valve is the exit valve of the heart, and um, when it becomes a stenotic, when it reaches critical size of less than one square centimeter, um, essentially uh, develops a mechanical obstruction, as you can see here, the opening of this uh, um, bicuspid valve is uh, well below uh, one square centimeter. Um, and this pretty much shows us there is no medical treatment for a mechanical obstruction. This is a, uh, a recent uh, um, a publication uh, uh, regarding the uh, U.S. population that is, uh, uh, there is a prevalence uh, of uh, uh, about uh, um, 300,000 uh, Americans uh, that have aortic stenosis and uh, unfortunately uh, less than a third uh, of these patients are treated each year, which is roughly around 80,000. So uh, essentially 220,000 patients with uh, uh, aortic stenosis uh, are not treated at all. Here uh, we can see a, a graph of uh, aortic stenosis patients that while they remain uh, um, asymptomatic and uh, um, they go on with their normal life, they have a, they have a rapid uh, uh, deceleration of their survival uh, curve and uh, roughly around 50% of these patients uh, die uh, within two years of diagnosis of severe aortic stenosis. So this is pretty important uh, to know once the diagnosis of severe aortic stenosis is made, it really becomes an important issue that these patients uh, should uh, seek uh, uh, some sort of a, a surgical uh, treatment and we will go over all those options, uh, whether it's uh, transfemoral, TAVI, um, uh, with the less option of transapical or versus uh, the uh, surgical uh, aortic valve replacement. There's a um, new um, publication to, uh, that was published in Journal of Thoracic Cardiovascular Surgery in 2008 uh, from uh, Mayo Clinic uh, that shows uh, there are benefits in both uh, asymptomatic and symptomatic uh, patients going uh, through AVR. In this slide you can see the uh, trend, the survival trend of these patients uh, that here in green uh, you can see essentially aortic valve stenosis patients who had symptoms or who didn't have symptoms after aortic valve replacement their 15-year uh, uh, survival is, uh, is roughly around uh, 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 50 or 55 percent, uh, while you can see symptomatic patients who did not have an aortic valve replacement, uh, their survival is uh, uh, only about uh, um, 45 percent uh, within one year, and patients who had uh, no symptoms and were not treated surgically, also they had accelerated um, um, a death rate of about 50 uh, percent uh, by six and a half years. Uh, this is an interesting uh, um, graph uh, that shows uh, survival of patients after aortic valve replacement compared to the normal population in Minnesota. Uh, and uh, um, I think generally tells us that aortic valve replacement for aortic valve stenosis is a um, is a, a very rewarding operation as these patients go on to live like a normal population. Although the very specific analysis of this um, might even show different uh, results, that I think we have been able somehow show that the aortic valve stenosis patients potentially they can even uh, live longer if their aorta has been addressed as well. Uh, this was an article in the New England uh, Journal of uh, Medicine uh, that essentially uh, it reiterates that the uh, standard medical uh, treatment, whether a patient has a bicuspid aortic valve or not, 
uh, it really does not alter the natural history of uh, aortic valve stenosis and 50% of these patients are uh, essentially uh, die within a, a year. This is very, very important. Uh, even um, shows a higher mortality rate in you know, untreated aortic valve stenosis patients. Uh, 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 even higher mortality than the Mayo Clinic report. 